If you know, Donald Trump has been desperately trying to explain away his own incompetence with regard to COVID-19, and he keeps saying the same thing over and over again. You know, it's not necessarily that we're seeing an extension of the first wave, that we're seeing, you know, a record amount of new cases every single day. The reason why this is all happening isn't necessarily because we're not getting the virus under control, but because we're doing more testing. So more testing equals more cases. Like, he keeps saying this. And it's not persuading anyone. Nonetheless, he keeps using this as an excuse, but he is adding one more excuse to his bevy of excuses. Um, for some reason, in some way, he's tying this to Obama and he's blaming Obama for cutting off COVID-19 testing, seemingly. I can't really make heads or tails out of this. Nonetheless, we'll listen to what he has to say. President Trump, you've said many times that the number of coronavirus cases is going up because testing is increasing. That's right. Do you acknowledge that it's going up for other reasons too? For example, that it's actually spreading? And what are you going to do to stop the spread? Well, you know that we have one of the lowest mortality rates anywhere. If you know uh, Biden and Obama stopped their testing, they just stopped it. You probably know that. I'm sure you don't want to report it. But uh, they stopped testing. Uh, right in the middle, they just went, no more testing, and uh, on a much lesser problem than the problem that we have, obviously, with respect to uh, this is the worst thing that's happened since probably 1917. This is a very bad thing. All over the world, it's 188 countries right now. But no, we are, we test more than anybody by far. And when you test, you create cases. So we've created cases. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like, usually when Donald Trump says something, um, you know, he'll he'll base it off of something that happened or a tweet that he's made um, or something that Fox News said. But I mean, I don't even know what to tie that to. Like, you can't connect the dots. You can't make any logical leaps for him. He just isn't making sense. I mean, is he talking about Ebola? Is he talking about literally Obama's handling of COVID-19, which didn't exist when Obama was president? Obama hasn't been president for three years. So why are you invoking Obama? And regardless, I mean, even if you found a way to tie this to Obama, you are the president of the United States. Take responsibility. Stop making excuses. But I mean, he, he can't. He is incapable of acting like a grown-up. So he says, you know, we we're seeing more cases because we're doing more testing, also Obama, and he has a new excuse. Now he is using a conspiracy theory to justify his own incompetence. Because as Jamie Ross of the Daily Beast reports, President Trump is pushing a ludicrous theory that doctors are purposefully lying about the novel coronavirus pandemic because they want to harm his chances of re-election later this year. Early Monday, Trump retweeted the conservative conspiracy theorist and former game show host Chuck Woolery as he dismissed medical experts as politically motivated liars. The incendiary tweet read, The most outrageous lies are the ones about COVID-19. Everyone is lying. The CDC, media, Democrats, our doctors, not all but most, that we are told to trust. I think it's all about the election and keeping the economy from coming back, which is about the election. I'm sick of it. Neither Woolery nor Trump Trump explained exactly what aspect of the ranging pandemic doctors are supposedly lying about, nor did they provide any evidence to back up the vague, unproven claim. Last week, the U.S. repeatedly broke its own daily record for new COVID-19 cases, and the nation's death toll now totals more than 135,000. On top of that, Trump also retweeted this from the same individual. There is so much evidence, yes, scientific evidence, that schools should open this fall. It's worldwide and it's overwhelming, but no. I mean, imagine how narcissistic you have to be to think that a global pandemic is literally just about you right that all everyone the cdc doctors the media they're all in this you know conspiracy against you all to make you look bad by tanking the economy by you know urging people to shut down the economy i mean how narcissistic do you have to be? You are the president. If you don't want to look bad, there are things you can do to try to mitigate COVID-19 spread. But instead, what we're doing is essentially using the strategy that you floated a couple of months ago, where we just let it wash over Americans. And now look what's happening. We are seeing 55 to 60,000 new cases 
every single day. We have a positivity rate that's higher than 5%. And in states like Florida, they're hitting record highs with 15,000 new cases in a single day, which is more than most countries. So the reason why some of these other countries are reopening schools is because they got the pandemic under control. But what are you doing? Nothing. First and foremost, let's just pretend like, you know, we we have the pandemic portion under control. Uh, we're in lockdown once again, and now it's just a matter of waiting this out. What have you done for people, Donald Trump? You signed the CARES Act. That's just one piece of legislation that gave people a one-time payment of $1,200. 32% of Americans missed their July house payment. So what are you going to do for people? Because even if we get this under control, the economic devastation that this caused is not something that you're dealing with at all. You're focusing on statues. You're focusing on flag desecration. You're not focusing on the pandemic or the economic consequences. So even if, let's say hypothetically, there were some type of big conspiracy to make you look bad with this pandemic, well, why aren't you trying to actually do a better job at getting it under control or stopping us from going into complete economic ruin? I mean, you chose to not do anything about COVID-19. You're just, you know, going forward, pretending as if it's not a thing, pressuring governors to reopen schools as if it's it's no longer with us. And on top of that, you're making matters worse by withdrawing from the World Health Organization, which isn't perfect. But I mean, at a time where we're suffering through a pandemic and we have the most cases, you know, compared to anyone else in the world, this is what you're doing? I mean, no amount of conspiracy theories that you fabricate or retweet are going to help you here. You are looking terrible right now because of you. You're not trying to stop people from suffering economically and in terms of suffering from the virus. You just don't care. You're completely ambivalent and there's even reports that some of his staffers are just hoping that Americans grow numb to the deaths. So, I mean, you can have it one of two ways. You can actually try to make an effort to stop the spread of COVID-19 and try to stop the economy from tanking. Or you can continue to do nothing, but you don't get to complain when people rightfully call you out for your incompetence and lack of empathy for people suffering. I mean, it's just, it's honestly, it's insane that he just is throwing his hands up in the air and saying, I'm done with the pandemic. I don't care that it's still here. Um, We're just going to pretend like it's not a thing. And if you don't also buy into my delusion and reopen schools and pretend as if, you know, everything is normal and under control, then I'm going to punish you. His education secretary, Betsy DeVos, is threatening to withhold funding from schools who don't reopen and obey their commands. I mean, this is absolutely insane what we are dealing with everyone else in the world other countries they're looking at us in shock and i don't think we're truly going to be able to grasp how ridiculous this moment is until we're like decades past this where we look back and think what the hell was going on in america during this time what was happening i mean the fact that there isn't universal outrage the fact that there aren't widespread calls for donald trump to resign because over a hundred thousand americans are dead on his watch it's honestly baffling what we put up with as americans is shocking to me the fact that we allow this to continue i mean it really speaks not just to who we elect but us individually as well or collectively as a society i mean to allow this if we allow it to get this bad and not do anything about it then it's going to continue to get worse so i don't know what else to say about this it's honestly uh shocking that the president is um not only refusing to act to save american lives but that he is uh making excuses for himself with conspiracy theories and by blaming his predecessor who hasn't had power for uh three years it's shocking but I mean, I shouldn't be shocked because what is absurd is the new normal in America.